So it's probably no great surprise I spend a lot of time on social media just watching stupid things, stupid dog things. I mean, watching Dozer isn't enough, but <laughs> I like watching those videos where the people have these crazy dogs and they're like, this is what I expected when I got this dog and you see a German Shepherd like going through the woods and then you see him, this is what I ended up and you get this dog on his back going, eh! you know, Huskies are the worst. Um, it's crazy, you see all these, and then cats. Oh, cats are hilarious. I mean, you know, watching a cat scared cat is like a hilarious cat. It just is. And I mean, it's probably cruel, but not really. Somebody comes around the corner, scares a cat, cat jumps. I laugh, just what I do. So I watch these videos and then some videos are do-it-yourself videos and design videos. Those are really awesome. When they take a room and they just kind of make it into something else. And then there's the videos where somebody's sharing their ideas about something. And sometimes they're interesting and sometimes they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes they're a little bit crazy. Sometimes they're quite angry. And these people are sharing, this is what I think about somebody. And I was watching one, and somebody was saying, this person didn't do this. And he said he's this, and he didn't do this. And I'm like, huh, I'll look into that. Turned out that he was right. He didn't do what he said. But this person on his website said, you're right, I didn't do this, and this is why, and I'm trying to fix this problem. So... The person that had originally made the comment that was very upset that this person wasn't doing what he said he was going to do, I said, well, here, would you like some more information so you can make a proper assessment of the situation and have a conversation with your followers that is a little more accurate? Think he want to do that? Oh, no, he did not. Basically, what he did was said, well, you know what? He did this and he did that and he did the other thing. I said, like, well, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is you said something that wasn't true and this person's claiming to be a follower of God. And I was like, if, you're, if this is your faith, your faith says don't bear false witness against somebody. See, the, when the scripture says don't bear false witness about, against somebody, it doesn't give us the criteria for what that person's going to be, or what that person does, or what that person believes, or what that person thinks. And we live in a world right now that's given us so much information and it's a lot, it's easy. It's easy just to believe the bad about people we don't like. I mean, there's a lot of politicians I don't like. I mean, I was a politician. People didn't like me. I'm not a politician. People still don't like me. Sad. But at the end of the day, we are not given permission to ever tell a lie about somebody. And not only that, bearing false witness is when you hold that lie. When you don't um, stand up against it. When you don't replace the lie with the truth. See, God said he will send us a comforter who will guide us in all truth. And when he's guiding us in all truth, he's saying, I want you to find it. I want you to look for it. And there's been a lot of times I've said something and someone said, oh, you know, Tim, that wasn't real. There was this video that looked like an old movie uh, that just looked like what happened with Will Smith and Chris Rock. And someone said, you know, Tim, that was made after the fact to look like an old movie to look like. And I'm like, oh, don't ruin it for me. Ha ha ha. But at the end of the day, that was the truth. And the truth had to be shared. The truth had to be revealed. And when we say something that isn't true, we need to be willing to stand up and say, I was wrong. I was mistaken. Please forgive me. And go to the people that maybe believe what we've told them and fix it. I remember my grandparents' house burned down. I was living in St. Andrews and somebody started a rumor that the reason that the house burned down is because I was smoking drugs. I was doing doobies and I got stoned and passed out and that's how the house burned down. That wasn't the truth. It wasn't even close to the truth. Ironically enough, the only room in the house that didn't burn was my room. Um, and I found that person and I just asked the question, you know, why would you say something like that? Oh, well, I thought that could have happened. It's like, but it didn't. And now I expect you to go and tell the people that you told that, that that's not true. You know, all right, she did. And it was amazing. And I think in that, her recognizing that she had done something wrong and making it right made her just a little bit better. And I know she gained a lot of respect from people because what she had said and her admitting that she was wrong showed that she had character. I mean, she shouldn't have said it in the first place. But there's always room to grow. So... First of all, be careful about what you're listening to. Um, test things to see whether they're true. Ask God to guide you, give you give you wisdom, give you direction. But if you do get something wrong, and we all do, have the courage, have the faith, have the character to whatever you've done wrong, make it right. 
that's what I've been thinking about today. God bless you. Bye for now.